up you guys um welcome or welcome back to my channel this video is a little different because i don't share anything about um me dealing with ms but i had to come in because it's been three days of blurred vision in my left eye when i first found out i had ms it was in my right eye that's how they find out that you have it normally optic neuritis um so it, even touching it it's very sore um but yeah i'm waiting hopefully to get an mri to see what i'm gonna have to do and i'm so mad they're gonna try to make me take these earrings out which means they may close i know i shouldn't be thinking about that but still i might they ain't no goddamn titanium or whatever they call it to where it's gonna you know i put a band-aid over it and call it a day but anyways, um, I don't like coming to the hospital because it's an all-day process. And, yeah, I got stuff to do tomorrow and Saturday. So, I really can't have them keeping me. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So, I'm going to check back in with y'all. Let y'all know what's going on. Um, a little bit of what's going on. But, um, yeah. Your girl got to figure out what she about to do as far as like treatment because i don't take any medication for ms i don't want to take any medicine for ms um i'm not really a big fan of medicine but yeah i need to really figure out what i'm going to do but yeah i'm hungry and i want some starbucks <laughs> all right i'll be back of course the lighting is bad but y'all why i play too much so I go get the MRI and me and my daughter, let me take these off, it's a glare. Me and my daughter went to go see, I think it was called Red Door. And I don't watch those type of movies like Insidious and all that, whatever, demonic, whatever movies, right? This is my first time watching one. So we go to the movies to see it. And there was a scene where the dude was in the M, uh, getting the MRI and the lights went off and all you could hear was the dum, 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 like the sound that the MRI makes. So I tell the lady, um, I'm like, yeah, I just start laughing. I said, I'm trying not to laugh. I said, but I'm thinking of this scene from this movie and like this thing like crawled up in the MRI with the guy and then he ends up being over his head. It was like, I jumped multiple times in that movie, but that particular part, I jumped. Y'all, my eye is so sensitive right now. But um, yeah, it's three o'clock. I probably have been here since 11. I'm ready to go. I'm hungry. All I can think about is I need to, clean up my beauty room and I have like four or five videos I need to edit y'all I'm horrible I'm really horrible it's the editing part that makes it hard for me to post videos so at this point I'm just gonna post this stuff and I will worry about like perfecting my editing as the time goes so now you're gonna get what you get I'm not gonna make sure everything is perfect because it's prolonging and I realize I haven't posted a YouTube video in three weeks so yeah let's get the ball rolling I want to push this button so they could come. Okay, I'm about to finish watching my girl Nas's video, her vlog from her um, her Alta Beauty trip. Um, Y'all check out her channel. I'm going to link her information in the description box. Y'all check out her channel. She's super dope. But yeah, talk to y'all in a few. Tomorrow was my off day, but I'm going to be at the hospital. They're going to admit me because now I have optic neuritis in my left eye. Um, I had it in my right eye when I found out. Um, I have new lesions, so I have two new lesions on the right, one new lesion on the left. The goal is to prevent any new lesions, um, but because that's your MS progression and you don't want it to progress. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out but I cannot tell you how annoyed I am that I have to actually stay in the hospital tonight. Scratch his head. Yeah. Anywho. Um, yeah. I am still... I will say my spirits is still up. I am just semi-annoyed that I gotta stay here that's all but um 
in the midst of it all, I'm still grateful um, that I still have my vision, um, whether it's blurred. Uh, yeah, so this is just another bump in the road. Your girl will be back. That'll give me time to edit my, finish editing my Jamaica vlog. Maybe I'll even be able to post it. I just didn't like how the vlog turned out because I didn't really, I'm not a good vlogger. Let's just say that I'm a in the moment type of person. So I always forget to pull out my phone. So yeah, I'm gonna still post it. I even still have a Tulum vlog from last year that I could post. I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that, but <laughs> I probably will. Yeah. But yeah, I'm hoping to get some food in a bit here. And some water, because I haven't had nothing all day. They don't love me in here. I'm just kidding. All right, y'all. Baby, I don't know why I'm still in this room. They have not checked me into my actual room. I had to order food. So I had to get Shake Shack. I ordered me a vanilla shake, an avocado burger, and some fries. And when I tell you I'm about to smash, because I have not eaten all day, I'm about to smash. And I pray it's not cold because he literally was down the street. It's not that bad. I'm hungry. Gross. This shake tastes disgusting. All I taste. Ugh. Oof, gross. All I taste is the medicine. I mean, if they're not going to do nothing else, I could technically, y'all can send me home. This burger, though, baby, I shouldn't be eating this, but let me tell you. What's up you guys um today is day two i had a struggling morning um it was just weighing on me like on my mood because my patience was wearing thin um the experience the experience has been like they don't communicate too much so i just been you know kind of like riding this shit out on my own so it was frustrating. I was ready to leave. I was just over it, but I'm like, no, you got to stay put. I try to call it outpatient house to see if they can get me in later. Um, I was supposed to wait for an IV until four o'clock. And I'm like, dude, I'm sitting here all morning until four o'clock to get an IV. Like y'all running up the tab, like run this, run this up. So they're going to come in here. They said it too, hopefully. Like, I don't understand the delay. And then I have to wait for the neurologist also before I can get dis discharged. They just trying to run up a bag because it's going to be expensive. Then they're going to want their money next week. Like, and I ain't nobody. But in the midst of that, I had, had this whole Snapchat vent about my patients and everything. And as I posted it, this nurse came in. And she had told me earlier she was my nurse, but she never wrote her name on the board. And I started to think she was not my nurse, but she was sent by God. And I'm not trying to be funny because she came in here. Um, she's a spiritual woman. And she asked me, are you on any treatments for your MS? I'm like, no. She's like, why not? And I'm like, I don't believe in medicine. And so I don't know what I'm going to do. So she was talking to me and she was like, you know, God places gifts in people. Um, and you are to trust that with his, you know, trusting God through people. And I said, we, she talked for a while and I was like, it's crazy. You said it like my last sermons have been that. God places gifts in people and especially doctors and you are to pray on that, go with that person and then you allow God to work through that person. And so like she was saying, like even when it comes with help, I had made this Facebook status and said, literally right before she came in, I said, if I ask for help, it means I really need it because I struggle with asking for help. She was like, when it comes, she was like, you don't know God, God is through people. So he works through people, which this, you know, it's true. So she's like, if you need it, say you need help with money. And I don't know you need help with money unless you ask me for money. She was like, 
um, you ask the person and God sends that money through that person to be a blessing or, or help to you. And so it was just like her speaking to me, like brought my mood together. I got my bag. I took a shower, um, smelling good, all that good stuff. Um, and I'm doing a face mask right now because my face is really dry. But I'm using, let me show y'all, because I rave about this all the time. Um, the Natrium. Like, I'm almost out. I'm about to get the big one because this is my second time. It's my Cinnamide Cleansing Jelly. It's got hyaluronic acid. Oh, sorry. Hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. And I really love this. Like, it's not harsh. Um, you can use it as a face mask or whatever. So, yeah. So, I'm about to eat. And then I have my devotional journal up here now and my planner. Um, I have my grease cream on my hair tying down my hair now i'm gonna put on a little makeup just so i can feel better like i feel better about still being here but it was my off day and it's, it was my daughter's off day so we were supposed to spend some time but yeah hopefully i don't be here all night i'll be back you need a help? okay so to just you know help my mood a little bit i'm going to do a quick little like um little makeup this is not my daughter packed my bag for me but she didn't bring the right color so we're just gonna do that i'm gonna use the origins blossom bloom yeah just getting yourself together just helps especially me like it does so much for me um no it just is it's about just doing makeup in general like me using a brush makes me feel good it's not necessarily that i don't like what i look like it's more so i just like to do the actual makeup you know And because I need a little bit more coverage, I'm going to go ahead and stipple that in. And I don't really need a little bit, you know. Like I said, just to have a little something, something. I'm trying to rush because they come coming here with the IV finally. Um, didn't put no primer. I think she left my eyebrow pencil. Is this one one of them? Oh, this is one of them. This is the Tarte. I never know if I'm looking. I'm never looking at the right spot for it. First of all, I don't have in my contacts, my glasses, so if it don't turn out right, I can barely see, so. And my left eye is blurry. So, judge your mama and not me, but if it turns out good, book your girl. And I do one-on-ones too. We could do it via Zoom. I'm not gonna clean them up. Um, we just going for, you know, natural bush. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some powder underneath my eye. Actually, I'm gonna just set the whole face. Some blush and spray my face. They're right there. Gotta go. Oh, I need to brush my hair. Hold on. Okay, I didn't get a chance to brush my hair so you can see where my lining is, but whatever. <sighs> Skin glowing. Getting this IV. Um, yeah. I thought I would be able to use my hand and do some writing, but I guess not. I'm gonna have to wait this out. It's for an hour. This stuff is stinging, bro, going in. Stinging, okay? Whew. I got these uh, Junior Thin Mints because the taste be making the water taste nasty. Everything be tasting nasty, so. Y'all wish me luck with this. I hate it. But anyways, yeah. Um, remote is way over there, can't turn it up. <laughs> 
I'll probably just listen to um, this book on my phone or a uh, YouTube video. All right, I shall be back. Hopefully I'm checking out soon, I pray. They still waiting on a neurologist. They can't get a hold of them. I'm like, why do I need them to come in here? I could just call my neurologist on the phone. I'm, I'm not understanding, but you know, they gotta, again, run up that bill. And Minnesota Health Fairview, if you're watching this, I'm gonna need you to pay the bill for me because yeah, I'm gonna need some type of assistance. So look, it, I'm already dressed. They said that they about to get me up out of here. I have to go and do three more um, IVs at the outpatient facility next week. Total of five. But yeah, I'm just happy to be leaving. I haven't slept. I think I'm going home and, and um, soak up some sun and then take me a nap. I'll let you guys know when I'm out of here. The communication at this hospital today, this day sucked. It's just horrible, horrible. But I am thankful and glad that I am leaving. And here's to a start of um, the journey of getting my ish together so I don't have to end up back here. It's beautiful out though. Look at the sky. You know I love some clouds. <laughs> okay, so I had to jump back on and just explain what I was talking about in the part where the nurse comes in and I say she wasn't my nurse because she never wrote her name on the board. She came in and she told me that they didn't tell her, um, I don't even know where to look on this iPad. Maybe it's right here, I don't know. But she said they came in here or they didn't tell her that, that I was supposed to get the IV or whatever at that time that they were giving it. She was like, well, I'll try to move it up. She unlocks the computer, but she's not looking for anything on my file, right? All she seen was the time. Then she sits down on the window ledge. And that's when she asked me, she's like, how are you doing, lady? And I was like, normally I'm always, I'll be like, oh, I'm good. You know, I'm hanging in here. But I was like, I'm struggling. Like, I felt like I was going to be on the verge of tears because I'm like, I was just sitting there. And it was so stressful because nobody was communicating. I'm, I'm totally fine with waiting. All you have to do is communicate. They could have said, you're going to be waiting until 3 o'clock. When you came in my room at 6 a.m. You know what I'm saying? So um, she sat down and she talked to me. I send messages through people all the time. And at that moment, she literally came in when I was like on the verge of breaking down. Um, and just her speaking got me emotional because it was just that reminder that I needed. Like I'm working. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things I'm working on. And it's like you have to trust and have faith. And you have to be willing to let go. And Trust that God is going to work it out. So when she told me, just, you know, just a reminder that when God gives gifts to people, we are to trust that. So it was something I needed to hear in that moment. It was something I've been hearing. Um, yeah. And so I just really appreciated her. And she literally, when she got done talking, she was like, okay, well, I'm leaving for the day. Mind you, so I know her phone was going off. It probably went off twice and she was trying to get out. And then she was like, well, I've, um, I'm um, i leaving for the day. Your other nurse is coming. She was like, your nurse, blah, 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 is taking over. And I was like, sis, you wasn't even my nurse, but I appreciate you. So, yeah, I really did appreciate her in that moment. And I just want to um, come back and share that because, baby, my brain was all over the place. I don't even know if I explained it correctly. And I know some people is like, um, some people just think like, I didn't want it to seem like she was telling me something new per se, but you need gentle reminders every now and then. And God was like, you know what? Since you're not listening and you being hard headed, I'm about to send somebody in your room, knock on that door. What's up with you, sis? <laughs> and in that moment, I really, really appreciated it and needed it. But um, yeah. Let's go now.